Coming up next, it's a flyweight matchup between Zach Makovsky and Dustin Ortiz. Dustin Ortiz, very focused, well prepared, and looking for a big victory tonight. He's very athletic, has a ton of natural quickness. You can see it in the way he moves around the octagon. He's got fast feet and a lightning quick jab. He's a very difficult guy to counterfight. As soon as you see the shot coming, he's tagged you. Dustin Ortiz enters the octagon, and he's ready to fight. Looking very confident tonight as he makes his way towards the octagon. He is fired up and ready to fight. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. If this fight comes to a striking exchange, he will have a distinct advantage. For this flyweight fight, Ortiz is 27. Makovsky is 33. Ortiz is one inch taller. He will have a one inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, five losses. He's at 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Franklin, Tennessee, Dustin Ortiz. And now to the season opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 19 wins, 7 losses. He's at 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Zach Fonsai. Herb Dean is our referee. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Nice leg kick. There he goes up the middle. Great combinations. I like the way he's mixing these up. Good block, and he delivers the straight count. Looking to take him down. Oh. Huge oh. slam. slam. Scrambling go. Half guard. Ortiz is in half guard again. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Huge elbow. elbow. Yeah. Full guard. He tries to move into half guard here. Man, he's doing some great damage from inside his opponent's guard. Trying to take the back here. And he gets the hooks. Nicely done. Flattened out. Big lures with a huge left. He moves into full mount. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. He's moved to full guard. And again, he's got half guard. Now falls back into guard. Under three now. Now he's got the hooks in, Joe. 
excellent movement here on the ground. Back to full guard. Very nice. That's a solid punch by OT. He's moved into half guard again. from half guard. Passes. Moves into half guard. Good transition. That's a big elbow, Joe. Huge elbow. Powerful right hand. Ortiz is trying to get past the half guard. Inside the guard again. Nice sweep, very good move. He moves to full guard here. Moves into half guard. Nicely done. Really good movement on the ground. Now he's back into full guard. Ortiz, it's got it back in half guard now. And he's up. Ortiz with the kick to the body. Makovsky's right out. He's starting to swell up. He scores with a nasty inside late kick. They are exchanging here, Mike. Joey's doing a good job with those late kicks. Absolutely, Mike. Joe, he continues to put together great combinations. He's able to avoid another takedown. He scores with the late kick. Makovsky with a nice straight. He's really doing a good job of controlling distance and getting off these shots. There's the kick. Big punch. 30 seconds on the clock now. Good counter late kick by Ortiz. And look again, once again, he doesn't get hit, and he scores with a combination. Oh, no oh, doubt about that. That's a right there. He's putting his hands down. On the thighs, he's looking to pass. Finish, finish, finish. Nice. Great movement on the ground. Our oh. first round is in the books. Here's a look at some of the action here. And here's a big slam. Nice technique. And here's a perfect sprawl to defend the takedown. And here we see a devastating suplex. Incredible highlights in that round. Carly getting a set for round two. Ready to fight. Ready. Round two. Dustin Ortiz's takedown defense was really on display in that last round. It was amazing takedown defense, almost telepathic in his ability to know when his opponent was trying to take him down. Ortiz with a nice punch. And an inside leg kick. He's doing a great job of timing these shots. Knee to the body. Completes the suplex. Lukowski with a good punch to the body. And a clinch. Here's an updated look at the significant strikes landed. Pummels under. And he transitions to his back. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Man. Yeah. 
Hey, and man, the mount. Full mount, not good. The swelling on his eyes is starting to get really bad. That was a nasty elbow. Oh, big shot from the top. There's the, the right, right hand. hand. Oh! Big shot. Hip escape. Nice hip escape. Trying to get them out. Under three minutes. Oh, he connected with that right hand. Bukowski gets it back to side control. Now he's in full guard. Solid right by Mikoski. Oh, looking for his back. Just at the midway point of this fight. Joe, he's showcasing some great movement on the ground. Right into guard again, though. The amount of damage that has been done to his body makes you wonder if he's got a broken rib or two. Ortiz with a nice punch from the bottom. He's going to try to take the back, I think. Under two minutes now. Tries to move to half guard, but can't. Nice reversal here. He's got, got both hooks in. in. Joe, this is dangerous. Great transition to top position. Ortiz with a good punch. Oh, reversal. Right into guard again, Joe. And he connects here. Look at his position now. Full guard now. Let's go. We got He's nice. past the half guard. Oh, full mount. Postures up. Forty-five seconds. Timing with the left hand. He scores, scores with, with a the huge left. left. Twenty on the clock. He scores with hand. a huge left. Oh, that's it. That's it. It's over. It's over. It's over. the fight. Wow. Late in the round, and he gets the job done by TKO. Let's check out the action on our fight replay. Let's take one more look at the end of the fight here. This is a vicious series of strikes, ground and pound, that lead up to the TKO. We can see it here from another look. These are clean shots that are getting in over and over again, ground and pound for the TKO finish. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 45 seconds of round number 2. Playing the winner by TKO, Dustin Ortiz. Dustin Ortiz, your winner by TKO.